Shalom, everybody, and welcome to Rega Be'ivrit. My name is Rabbi Shapira, and I'm excited you are joining us as we're starting the Book of Shemot. The Book of Shemot does not call Exodus, but rather call names. Why this word Shemot is the theme of this entire book? Because in Hebrew, a name designates one calling, purpose, and identity. And this entire book of Shemot has to deal with the restoration of the name of the children of Israel, their calling and their identity for the time of this exodus as they prepare to receive the Torah. Now, the Torah starts with this word, Ve'ele Shemot b'nei Yisrael abayim b'tzraima et Yaakov ish u'beito bau. Now, first of all, notice that it's mentioned here, the name of the sons of Israel. Israel is the name of Yaakov when he's operating under the fullness of the Spirit. And they came to, to Egypt with a purpose. What was the purpose that they came to, to reach to Egypt? Is to gather the sparks, the remnant, in their ascension up. So they came up, and here the Torah mentioned their name, by name. They came with this strong identity of Reuben, Shimon, Judah, Levi, and so forth. And here the Torah say to us something about them. They are called Yotzei Yerech Yaakov. This expression, Yotzei Yerech Yaakov, is important and is significant. The word Yotze means to come out. Yerech means tie. Yaakov means Jacob. Yotze Yerech Yaakov meaning those who cleave to Jacob. Those who cleave to their father Israel. They started their journey to Egypt with a specific purpose as they were spiritually tied into Yaakov or Israel. And here the Torah continue on and tell us specifically specific that during this time the Yosef Haya Bemitzrayim. Yosef Haya Bemitzrayim. But in verse 6 upon talking about Jacob and Joseph being their root something changes in the text. And the text tell us here Vayamat Yosef Vekolechav. Why would the text tell us that both Jacob and Joseph have died? What is the text trying to suggest? Didn't we know that they're already dead? Of course that they're dead. What the text suggests here, that their memory had died. The purpose has died. The name has died. The identity has died. And here, the Torah uses the term, Vekol Adorau, meaning the name of Jacob, the name of Joseph has vanished from the lips of the Hebrews. And that's, friend, why they became slave in Egypt. Rather than owning Egypt and taking Egypt through the spirit of Joseph and Jacob, it's Egypt who ended up consuming El. And that's why it says, Ubnei Israel pru ve'ishretsu ve'yarbu ve'yatsmu be'meod meod. They became great and mighty. It seems that is a positive thing. Wait a second, if it is a positive thing, how come that they become servants? The reality is shocking. The Torah is using these words, pu, specifically the ishratsu, this word ishratsu, speaking about the fact that although they were great in numbers, they lost their identity. The word Ishratzu is uh, words that uh, used to uh, describe from the Hebrew word Sheretz, something that is unclean and is unkosher. They become almost unclear and unkosher because they let Egypt rule them. The entire story of Exodus is a story that comes to restore their own identity. And this is what we can learn from that today. 
in order to restore our own, own identity, whatever our own environment is, if we are living in Babylon, on the dome, or in Egypt, remember, if you do not rise above your environment, your own shame, your own name will disappear. This is why this book of Exodus is so important. It's giving us the tools to learn how to own up our names calling, even in the midst of spiritual Egypt. Let's learn together. This is this week, Rega Beverit. Shalom, everybody.